Hello, everyone, and welcome to Learn Chinese Now. Today, we are going to explain a little of the culture behind what in the West we normally call the yin yang symbol, but in Chinese, it is known as the tai ji tu or tai chi picture. The same tai ji as in tai ji boxing or tai chi as it's often called in Western countries. So the idea of yin yang refers to the two polarities, male and female, hot and cold, light and dark. The characters for yin and yang actually originate from characters meaning the sunny side of a hill and the shady side of a hill. Yang meant the sunny side of the hill, and you can imagine the sunny side of the hill is brighter, warmer, the plants are opening up to absorb the sunlight and growing outwards. Yin meant the shady side of the hill, where it would be darker, colder, and the plants and wildlife wouldn't be expanding out, but they would be instead curling up to keep warm. So the yang character now refers to things which expand, a warm, bright, strong, aggressive, male, etc. And yin refers to things which contract, a cooler, darker, weaker, gentle, female, etc. Now you might think, hey, I just heard that females are yin. Does this mean that ancient Chinese thought that women were cold and dark? Well, before you go on to protest the controversy all over the internet, like this guy did, let me explain some things. Yin and yang refer to two polarities that are observable in all aspects of life in the universe. It's more about the energy that something carries. Just because dark, cold, and evil are counted as yin energies doesn't mean that women are also evil. There have been some pretty evil men in the world. <laughs> that wouldn't work if being yang meant that they were all good, right? Now, yin and yang does convey a general sense that men are stronger and more aggressive and women are gentler and calmer, which I think most people would agree is true, but only in a very, very general sense. Since you see those little dots right there? Yin and yang both contain their opposites. So even if you are female and considered a yin overall, your personality may contain a lot more of yang traits. There are some pretty yang women out in the world. And the same goes for men, who may have more of a yin personality. Yin and yang can't survive without each other. Actually, in traditional Chinese thought, what is desirable is the balancing of yin and yang energies, no matter whether you're male or female. This idea can be seen in Chinese medicine and also in the concept of marriage, a harmony between strength and gentleness that can produce life. Tai Chi Quan, or Tai Chi Boxing, also uses the balancing of yin and yang, where when an opponent's yang energy shoots out, a practitioner will use their yin energy to absorb the yang energy and then make it shoot back out at the opponent. In Chinese medicine, different parts of the body are counted as yin and yang. For example, the back is yang and the front of the body is yin. Hit the palm of your hand. Doesn't hurt, does it? Now hit the back. Hurts, right? That's the yin side. In the words of the Chinese sage Lao Tzu, the way gives birth to the one. The one gives birth to the two, which are yin and yang. From the two come the three, which many believe are yin, yang, plus qi or energy. The three create the 10,000 things. 10,000 things carry yin and embrace yang. In traditional Chinese thought, yin and yang give birth to the universe's energy or qi, and yin, yang, and qi give birth to the 10,000 things. That's just a way of saying the myriad of things in the world, and all these things contain yin and yang. In the Book of Changes, yang is represented by a line and yin is represented by a broken line. These lines are put together to make eight trigrams or ba gua. These represent some of the fundamental elements of the universe. And these eight trigrams or ba gua are then put together to make 64 hexagrams, 64 gua which represent all the possible changes in the cosmos. In ancient China, this system was used in feng shui, war strategies, divination. These trigrams were also used to create the eight mother palms of the martial art ba gua zhang, or eight trigrams palm. These eight moves are then multiplied together to create 64 palm changes that represent the 64 hexagrams. Anyway, it all gets very complicated, but it all originates from yin and yang, Guys, I'm not an expert in this kind of thing, and if I was to go any more deeper into it, 
I would be doing you a disservice because I don't fully understand it myself. If you'd like to know more about these kinds of topics, please comment below, let me know your thoughts, and maybe we can interview an expert and find out more about this traditional Chinese Taoist philosophy. We'll be back next time with more interesting Chinese words and phrases, but until then, 再见!